this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. And another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Today in this video, I am going to be joined by Squashy Quack. Good morning, Squashy. And I am also, of course, going to be joined by... Liebert, Liebert, wrong. you're facing the wrong way, Liebert. You're, oh, Lee, really, Lee, really? It's too early in the morning to see that. <laughs> oh, dear. Good morning, Lee. You know what it's not too early in the morning to see? A cake, of course, a cake. And some people think it's a little bit weird that I eat cake for breakfast. And to them, I say, I don't care, it's really tasty. <gasps> nom, 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 nom. Absolutely delicious. Thank you so much for that, Lee Bear. <laughs> anyway, let's go and uh, head over to the uh, the love garden then and see who's been added to it today. And uh, the person who I'm adding to it today, uh, I'm adding them because they left a, a comment on one of my lovely world videos uh, that really made me laugh. And that person is, whoa, Lee Bear, how, what, how did... You got here very, very, very fast. That was a uh, rather impressive. Anyway, the person today uh, who I'm adding to the love garden is Beth Stewart. And the reason I'm adding Beth is because she left this comment that said, Dear Stampy, I always watch your lovely world videos and I always can't wait to see who's in the love garden. I always say to myself, who will it be? Can it be me? And guess what? I'm never in it. And then I realise I didn't do anything to get in it. Oops. <laughs> and you know what, Bev? Now you can be watching the video and you can get, uh, be getting even more excited because you are in the love garden because that comment uh, really made me laugh. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's go and uh, head to where we're going to be building today's project. And we are building uh, something brand new today, which is always very exciting. We are building a barber shop. And I'm going to explain a little bit more about what the barber shop is and what it's going to look like uh, once we head over there. But first, I'm going to pick a dog. And I know who I'm going to take with me today. I am going to be taking Fluffy with me, seeing as we're building quite close. Uh, to the pick a pet pet shop i think uh, it's only fitting uh, that i take fluffy with me and fluffy should be uh, hanging out inside of her uh, here uh, with all of her animal friends and here she is and looks like uh, she's had her cake for breakfast as well uh, although by the looks of things she didn't like it quite as <laughs> quite as much as me as seen as yet yeah, the entire cake is still left there anyway this barber shop then it's going to be called the bar bar barber shop and the reason it's called the bar bar barber shop is because it's going to be a speciality barber shop which specializes in giving haircuts to sheep and i guess it's not a haircut i guess it's a it's a wool cut rather than a uh, than a haircut i guess it's a, a little bit different and the reason is is because whenever we're shearing sheep we just grab our shears and we just jump in the pen and we just run around like this going snip 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 but we don't at all think about the style uh, or the uh, the look that the uh, the sheep is left in and oh no one's escaped as well <laughs> come on fluffy be a good uh be a good sheep dog and try and get the uh, the sheep back in come on fluffy try and herd the sheep nope not gonna happen is it i know what i could do if i go and uh, place a, a block down here can i nudge the the sheep in i don't actually have any wheat on me i think oh maybe the sheep's just gonna walk back in come on sheep back in back in come on there we go that was a <laughs> that was a easier than it normally is uh, so yeah basically this is going to be a barber uh, so whenever we need to get some wool instead of just running into the pen and shearing them we can bring them to the bar bar barbers and then uh, we can give them some rather fancy looking uh, uh wool cuts and uh, we can uh, shear each other's hair as well and give each other hair st uh, styles and style each other and what a what are you doing here? Are you, are you debating which is better, the, the yellow flower or the cake? <laughs> which one do you think is better? I vote on the... Actually, let me taste them both. Mm, mm, uh, 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 tastes like pollen. Mm, mm. I, I vote on the cake. I think I prefer the cake out of the two. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's go and uh, begin building. So the uh, the bottom row uh, is going to be made out of uh, black wool. And uh, I'm going to go and try and get the uh, the dimensions right. It's going to be 16 blocks along and uh, then uh, 11 blocks wide. So I think I'm going to start uh, about here. I'm going to leave a, a little bit of a gap uh, from the path because we're going to do a, a nice little path leading into it. Uh, so I need to count along 16. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 7... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Not the uh, the best counting I've done, but it should be okay. And then now we need to go 11 across. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then we go uh, along this way. And uh, this is going to be the uh, the bottom row of the, the barber shop. And uh, the first three rows, in fact, are going to be made out of black wool. And don't start panicking. Don't start getting upset thinking that's going to be a really boring, just black looking box. Uh, the roof is going to be rather spectacular. The roof uh, is going to be all made out of a uh, red and uh, and a uh, white wool uh, in a rather funky looking pattern, uh, which I think uh, is going to look pretty awesome. And hopefully uh, you will agree once it's done. So uh, let's go and uh, begin building that. So it's going to be kind of the uh, the barber shop colours. And uh, let me go and try and... Actually, if we build up the... Um 
We could build up the black wall one more and then kind of do the, the roof going above it uh, because then otherwise the, the roof might be a little bit low. So if you start building up uh, a little bit higher there, Lee Bear, I'm going to go and uh, begin building uh, the roof. So there's going to be a, like a little bit overhanging uh, on the, the front here, uh, which is going to be going down uh, like this. And it's basically going to be uh, alternating between uh, red and white, uh, but then sort of going diagonal. You know, you get those, those barber's poles that are normally moving. Uh, you know those things? They, they kind of look like a really tall pole and they, they're kind of spirally and they spin and they look really cool. We are basically uh, going to be building a massive one of them uh, on the, the roof of the building. And we're going to put some glowstone up there uh, so at night it's all going to be glowing and look uh, really cool. And so yeah, that is the uh, the reason this isn't going to be uh, a boring, ugly looking uh, barber shop. So uh, we basically need to, to make it so the pattern carries on. So the way we're going to do this is we basically just need to um, uh, keep going along, doing two white, uh, then two red, then two white along. and. Uh, Oh, I realize I did it wrong there already, but uh, yeah, so you need to just do it in the pattern and then just move the entire thing on uh, a little bit, move the entire thing on a little bit. So if I put some white there and white there, then put red and red there and then white and white there and uh, keep going along and fluffy. If you sit down and just move a little bit forward, <laughs> then I'll be able to, to carry on building. So uh, yeah, we basically just need to go and uh, carry on this pattern uh, the whole way along. So we'll then go to, uh, to red there and uh, this little bit down here is going to be uh, overhanging uh, so we can do that bit at the end. So the way we'd uh, carry on the pattern here is uh, we'd need to go and do white wall uh, there and there and then a little bit of red wall there so you can kind of get an idea of how this pattern's gonna be so it's gonna basically look like uh, diagonal stripes uh, of a red and white wall uh, the the whole way along and should look uh, pretty cool so uh, we now go and do the the same again so this was gonna be uh, red here and here so that will be white there and then it will be white here and here so the only tricky bit is working out uh, the first block in each row and uh, then once you've worked that out uh, it's very easy to, to carry on uh, doing the pattern the, the whole way along to the other side so it looks like Squishy's got it so I'm going to keep building this along here and actually I'm going to leave uh, my Minecraft helpers uh, to carry on building this ceiling and uh, while they do that, I'm going to go downstairs here and start doing some more to the front of the shop because <laughs> it doesn't look particularly inviting right now. So uh, I need a big window. They always have really big windows in barber shops uh, to try and tempt people to, to come in and get their hair cut. So uh, let me go and uh, get rid of some of this uh, black wall here and I can go and add a, a big front window. And I do have some glass here, but I think I'm going to make it into some, some glass panes. And uh, we're going to go and put that on the front. And a lot of you may be thinking that this is a very big barber shop. Uh, uh, because yeah, you generally don't get very big barber shop. Uh, it's normally just uh, two or three, uh, just sort of sinks in a row, and then some hairdressers and uh, some barbers. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have a very big one because we're actually going to be building two barber shops. And uh, the reason we're building two barber shops is because I want to have mirrors, and mirrors are very difficult to do in Minecraft because Minecraft doesn't really have mirrors. And you could put down like some grey wall or a piece of iron, which can kind of look a little bit like a mirror. Or there's a really cool effect you can do where you basically mirror the room. So we're basically going to split the room in half down the middle and we're going to build one room here. Then we're going to build the exact same room on the other side but mirrored. So that way when you look into it, it's going to look like there's an actual real mirror there. Of course, the only problem is that you won't have a reflection. It'll look like you're a vampire and then when you look in the mirror, <laughs> you can't see yourself. And so what we can do is just have someone go to the other side and mirror your movement and then they can just pretend to be your reflection, which should be a good fun. So uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be uh, building on the inside. So in case you're wondering uh, why I built it so absolutely massive, that's uh, because we're uh, actually building two barbers <laughs> in uh, in real life, uh, although it'll only look like one. Like the, the back uh, is going to be all blocked off uh, so that... Um, yeah, it's not going to be, we're not going to build this same front uh, on the, the other side as well. And uh, yeah, I'm also adding some some trapdoors uh, around the bottom. I thought that uh, it might look just uh, a little bit ugly uh, just being this one big black box. And so I'm kind of going for a, an old style barber. I'm not going for a, a modern one. I'm going for a, a more classic vintage style bar bar barber. So uh, I thought having these uh, wooden panels uh, along the bottom uh, would look quite cool. It's kind of annoying to build with this uh, grass in the way. There we go. I'm doing it a little bit better now. So this uh, is just going to go the... Uh, the entire way around the outside and then once my Minecraft helpers have uh, finished doing off the ceiling I'm gonna jump up top and I'm gonna do the uh, the barber's pole and that's the uh, the thing I was talking about earlier you know the the big spinning thing and uh, there's no real way uh, for me to, to make it actually look like it's moving and spinning uh, but we're just gonna go and uh, carry on doing the uh, the same diagonal effect uh, with the uh, the uh, red and the uh, white wall and then on the top and the bottom uh, we're just gonna go and uh, have some um, 
yeah, some some uh, yellow wool and some glowstone and things uh, just to make it look like the the ends. And I think uh, that it look pretty cool just because it didn't really work uh, having it small. Uh, so I thought just having it absolutely ridiculously large instead uh, actually makes it uh, look uh, a lot cooler. So let me go and uh, carry on doing these last few trap doors uh, around the bottom here and flapping them up. And then it's probably a, a wise idea for us all to to go to bed because it is starting to to get a little bit dark and uh, there are a few beds there just waiting for us. So uh, yeah, before all the uh, the googlies come out, uh, it might be a, a good idea for us all to, to have a, a little bit of a, a nap. So let me just go and uh, place down these uh, last few trap doors uh, around the outside around here and uh, along the back here. And uh, yeah, then we can all go to bed. Am I going to have enough? Nope. <laughs> There's always the way it is. There's always the way it is. You never have one too many. You always just have a uh, one not enough. But we can go do that in the morning. Uh, for now, uh, we can all just go here and uh, have a little nap next to the, the sheep. And I think the, the sheep are probably enjoying watching this because we are building it for them. This is uh, the uh, the barbers uh, for the, the sheep. Uh, so they can uh, sit there and they can uh, watch us building it and uh, knowing that we're, we're building it uh, just for them. And by the looks of things, it uh, looks like the... Um yeah, it looks like the, the, the top might be completely done. I think this side's a little bit wrong. Uh, these are all kind of just in line, uh, but they all need to, to be kind of diagonal. So let's just go and uh, sort this bit out here. So uh, I'm trying to make it so it looks like they're all kind of going diagonal. Uh, so if we get rid of these, we can just sort of move them all across. And then, yeah, I'm going to jump up to the, the top and uh, start building the, the actual barber's pole. So I need my, my red wool and i got my white wool here. Uh, so this is going to go white, white and then red red and then white white and so it's a really cool looking pattern but it's actually quite simple to do because as i said once you've done the the first few blocks you can just sort of copy it along and uh, do it really quickly uh, just like that so now let's go and uh, hop upstairs and uh, see what it looks like actually i might kind of build up a little bit away uh, so that way i can go and have a look at it from the top and just see uh, what it looks like whoa look at that see what i mean <laughs> and you thought this was going to be an ugly black box look how cool is this, this is such a funky pattern and it does actually look a, a little bit like a, a barber's doesn't it uh, right now so let's go and just uh, start building the the pole so i want it kind of uh, symmetrical in about the middle uh, but i want it quite near the the front as well so is this in the middle um uh, i think it is one two three four on that side and then one two three four on this side as well so uh, this is going to be the uh, the bottom and uh, we're going to do the uh, the same pattern, uh, but instead of going along, uh, the pattern's going to be going up instead. So uh, let me go and try and start this off here and try and explain uh, what I mean. So if I go and do uh, white, white there, uh, I'll then need to go and do uh, the, the red next to it. And then we're going to just keep the pattern going up. So it would then be uh, white, white there. And then here it would be red, red there. Is that right? Uh, actually, no, that would be... Okay, I'm getting a little bit confused with my own pattern here. I guess if I just do one side... <laughs> it might be a little bit easier. So that'll be red there, and then there'll be red there, and then there as well. I think this is right. We're kind of trying to, to, to keep it having the, the same spiraling effect going up. I think this is right, actually. I think I did do it right. So that'll be white there, then that'll be white there, and then there, and there. And then so that means that will be red there, there, and there. There we go. I, th I think this is actually uh, going right. So we just need to, to keep doing this pattern up. Uh, but it is a, a little bit more confusing uh, when you're doing it in a, a bit of a tube like this rather than when you're doing it in a, in a long straight row. So this needs to be white there and there. Then this will be red there, I believe. And then white there and then there as well. Is this looking right? Yep, I think this is okay. So that will then be red there and white there and then there as well. And then we need red there and there, which means it will be white there and there. I think this is uh, just about uh, looking okay. And I'm not uh, entirely sure uh, how high I'm going to uh, to end up building this thing, to be honest. I don't know if this is high enough or should I go uh, a little bit high. Let me go and have a look at it uh, from the outside. I think we go um, I think we go a little bit higher than this just to make it a little bit bigger. I do uh, want this uh, building to, to stand out uh, when you're looking uh, across my, my lovely world. So we want to go uh, like this here and then the white goes like that. And then the red goes like this, and then the white goes like this. Here we go. I feel like I'm I'm getting into my my stride a little bit. I just keep getting confused at points, uh, but then I, I kind of get back into it. So this will go red like that, and then white like here, and then red, and then white. And uh, I think this should be uh, almost high enough. Oh, I think I've done this wrong actually. I think I've done yeah. I think actually no, is this right? I think that is right. I think I have done it right. So I think I'm going to go uh, one more row higher, and uh, then I'm going to go and build uh, the uh, the yellow wall on the top as well, uh, which is going to be the the top of the the barber's pole. 
So this can go to here, and uh, we're basically going to do kind of the the same pattern uh, we did underneath. So we're going to go and do the white wall, uh, the yellow wall. Sorry, uh, sorry, on each side around here. And then I'm just going to do a little bit of a, a bulb on the top and uh, add a little bit of glowstone. Uh, so that way, when you look at it uh, at night. Uh, you're going to see it all glowing and it's going to tempt you uh, to go for a, a midnight uh, hair <laughs> hair appointment and go in and uh, yeah, get your, your hair done. And oh, nope, I fell the whole way down. And it gives me actually a nice chance to look at it. I think it's looking good. I think it's looking good. Of course, uh, this dirt is ruining it a little bit, but we are going to be <laughs> getting rid of that uh, in just one moment. So I just need to go and build up these uh, final couple rows here. If I go and build that yellow and yellow there. And then, as I said, uh, we're just going to build it up a, a little bit higher as well. So I think I'll just go up to just just go one block higher and then add uh, one block of glowstone in the middle. Uh, so then that way at night uh, you can see it glowing and it will hopefully uh, tempt some of the, the sheep to, to come in. So if I get rid of that yellow wall and uh, go and place down my glowstone in the middle just like that. And uh, now let's go uh, downstairs and uh, let's go and uh, have a look at uh, what the uh, the outside of the, the bar bar barbers looks like. And now it's 100% uh, complete. Let's go and get rid of this dirt and uh, go and get rid of uh, a little bit more of this dirt here and uh, let's go and uh, hop downstairs and uh, check it out oh here's uh, a nice viewing perch for us uh, seeing what it looks like <laughs> that Lee's uh, jumping up and down on and whoa that looks really cool um there is a dog <laughs> on the front of it uh fluffy is not going to be the uh, the official bar bar barber's uh, mascot but uh, <laughs> she does look like she um uh, she wants to be i think that looks good uh, i'm liking the the look of this so far so let's go inside then and uh, start doing a little bit of uh, the work in here so uh, the the floor is going to be a um is going to be black and a white wall again and it's going to be kind of like a, a cross pattern so it's going to be a, a like a, a checkered pattern is what i mean so it's going to be red and white the uh, the red and black sorry uh, the whole way around so if we do white there and uh, we can go and do white here as well and uh, yeah it's probably a good idea just to, to dig away all the floor well how about if you start digging away the floor and i'll start placing in uh, all of the the wall then that might be a, a quick way of doing it so uh, this is really easy uh, we just need to, to alternate or oh, not between black wall and dirt between <laughs> the uh, the black wall and and uh, the white wall and uh, go the the whole way around so we go black white black white like this and then we can kind of do opposite actually i think it's easier if you kind of do all of one color and then go back and do the the other color so if you just go and do white there white there white there white there and white there and uh, then that way you're not constantly uh, switching uh, between which block your your holdings are uh, a really fast way of doing it and uh, then i need to do the divide then i need to do the the bit in the middle of the room uh, which is going to be where the mirrors are uh, because of course we're going to be building the exact same room twice <laughs> and it's a really Really cool effect though it does actually uh, look like you are looking through some sort of mirror especially when you add in some uh, some glass in the middle makes it look uh, even better so let me go and uh, start building that now so it needs to be uh, in the the exact middle of the room so let's try and work this out is it the middle about here kind of looks like the middle let's count along one two three four five six and let's see the other side one two three four five six seven aha this is not the exact middle of the room is there an exact middle uh, let me just double check this one two three four five six and then here is one two three four oh i know why that's because we needed to add the the windows and things here the actual wall uh, is going to be here uh, because there's going to be black wall uh, behind where the the window and things are so this is uh, going to be the the middle of the the room now so if i go and uh, throw down some glass uh, and uh, some glass panes uh, you can go and uh, build there's a uh, if you put down a door as well and uh, the window on the back of that wall uh, then that way things are going to start looking uh, a little bit symmetrical so uh, while they're doing that i'm going to go and build here which is basically going to to be the the divide so I can then build up my white wall around here and then a, uh, along the top like this and then down the, the other side. So this is supposed to uh, look like the, uh, the back wall of the room. And so this is going to be a little divide in the middle. And these are supposed to be the, the mirrors. Uh, so if I now go and uh, put some glass in here and then some glass in the other side as well, it will hopefully almost look like we are looking in a, uh, in a, in a reflection. So uh, the only problem, of course, is that you're not going to see all of that on the outside. I wasn't going to do uh, a complete recreation of my Funland on the other side just for the, the effect. But uh, as it is now, I think it looks pretty cool. So there we go. This is me looking at my um at my reflection. <laughs> I kind of look like I've split into two. Right. Lee Bear, you stand in front of this mirror. Squashy, you stand in front of this mirror. And I'm going to see who does the best at being my reflection and copying exactly what I do. Right, so Squashy is trying to be my reflection. Let's see uh, how closely she can copy me. All running backwards and forwards. She's doing a good job of that. Now moving left and right. There we go. <laughs> a little bit behind. Jumping up and down. Can she jump up and down? Spinning in a circle. I can't even see. I just see a slight delay. It's a good way to see the, the back of your head because you can never normally see it in a mirror. No matter how fast you are, you can never see the, the back of your head. 
said. I think you did very well there, Squashy. Right then, Lee Bear, it's your turn now. How much can you copy what I'm doing? Right, I'm going to be running backward and forward and sprinting forward and then going really far backward and sprinting forward. <laughs> it's really hard to keep up. I'm going to push my nose up against the mirror, <laughs> smearing all over it. <laughs> and now I'm going to go and start shooting some arrows. I'm going to shoot some arrows all over the place. <laughs> be careful on that side. Oh, he doesn't have fire arrows. That's the uh, the big difference. <laughs> oh, dude, that's good fun, though. That's a, a good fun game to play. Uh, but sadly, uh, we have just about run out of time in this episode, though. Uh, but in the next episode... We are going to be building the uh, the entire inside uh, of the uh, the bar bar barbers and uh, yeah making the uh, the place look even better uh, than it does now. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. I want to say a big thank you to to Lee Bear and Squishy for joining me and uh, helping me out. And I will see you all later. Bye.